Since its construction in the late 1880s, the Holland and Wolf Drawing Offices had been the main centre for the world's leading shipbuilders where the magic of the ocean liners came to life. By 1907, an estimate number of 1,700 liners were built for the White Star Line, Union Castle and T. Yates. Inside the two magnificent drawing offices, there would have been many blueprints, hard-working shipbuilders and draughtsmen, and the place where continuous meetings took place which considered the original Design D plans for the Olympic, the Titanic and the Britannic, the safety and regulations of the lifeboats. But while the Titanic and the Olympic were being built, the building had expanded. In 1910, there was a three-storey building housing the administrative was built to the south of the drawing office one. Then in 1911, the one-storey entrance block was demolished. Following the Titanic disaster, the building did expand and the business continued as normal until 1989 when the offices were privatised in a management slash employee buyout. For a while, the Holland and Wolf drawing offices was abandoned. In 2016, the offices were rescued and restoration was underway before it became a Grade B listed building. Today, the offices and drawing rooms are part of the Titanic Belfast Hotel. However, visitors can still visit the offices of Thomas Andrews Jr. and J. Bruce Ismay. Guests and visitors can also enjoy cocktails from the Harland Bar, where the main bar tiles were identical to the first-class bathrooms from all three sister ships and the Olympics swimming pool. <laughs>